Hey, welcome back to Bridges. Look at these statistics. These are just amazing. 20% of Lucas County children live at or below the poverty level. 21,000 children don't get balanced meals during the summer months or actually through, throughout the year. And the food bank and food bank subsidy programs don't adequately address the needs of children, not because they're not good services, but because they're not focused specifically on providing the needs of children. I have with me today um, one of my heroes and a champion in this fight against uh, childhood hunger. His name is Tony Sibanek, and he is with Feed Lucas County Children. And I am so proud to say that Tony's organization served their one millionth meal to, to yep. a child this year. Yep, we Yay sure did. for you. Thanks. Yay for who? You. This is a devastating problem in our county. Yeah, it's uh, it, unfortunately, Donnie, it's not getting any better. <clears throat> uh, matter of fact, there are some new numbers coming out where uh, that 21,000 we talked about, that number has now moved up to about 30,000. My goodness, just recently. Yes, the, just in, in yeah. the last, the new statistics of everything have come out. And so just when you think you're, you're you know, reaching a lot of kids. Now suddenly here's some more children in need. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's, it's becoming a staggering number. Yeah, and the, the reason I want you all to, to meet Tony again, he's been here before, is that this is one of the places that I really encourage you to consider donating to as you were thinking about where you want to spend your money this holiday season. I have to tell you, if you've never seen a child dumpster dive, you have spared yourself an amazing heartbreak. The very first time that I saw a seven-year-old climb into a garbage can to look for kids, I was ruined for the rest of the rest of the month. And it is not uncommon. No, it's not, Donnie. We we see all kinds of different things, and uh, 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 even I, as a man, sometimes I have seen some things where I kind of get kind of teary about and thinking, my goodness, how in the world can this happen mm -hmm. in Lucas County? You know. And, uh, but, you know, the, the stories go on and on. We see a lot of things. Some of those things really break your heart, but the truth of the matter is we're, we're dealing with the most basic thing in this country, and that's food. Mm -hmm. Something that the United States is plentiful on. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sad to say we have a lot of waste. And, and we go around and, and then we see these kids in need and it, it doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. It, does, it doesn't make a lick of sense. For people who might not have the experiences that you have and actually working with this population on a daily right. basis, what, would you tell them what the primary reasons are that you see for children's, children being hungry? You know, one of the things that, uh, well, it actually is a list of different things, Donnie. One of them is, and we've been very fortunate. We can build good relationships and, and, and communicating with a lot of the parents that are in need. We can sit down and really get down to the brass tacks of what really is the problem. Mm -hmm. And it's some of it is just a lack of information. Some of it, uh, because everybody knows that uh, what we do that's very special is we, we offer uh, one of the most nutritiously balanced meals to children in the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. Now this comes from state people and other people that come in and look at what we're doing. But it's, it's sometimes it's, it's just trying to figure out how do I really prepare, how do I utilize the money I have to That's buy it. food. Mm -hmm. And we had a really great conversation with Owens College the other day. They came in again and we think that there's gonna be a neat program put together. We think it's gonna be really dynamic. It's, it's very unique. Um, and, and the whole idea is to, we can talk about how to help a family understand how to better purchase their dollars to feed, to prepare healthy meals. Right. It's another thing to actually do it. Mm -hmm. And so this program I think is gonna be rolling out later on more details about it. We're pretty excited. Um, and and, and it, the whole idea is just to help these parents know how to utilize those dollars. Those dollars, because it, because <clears throat> the lack of that information mm -hmm. causes them to run out of money before the, the next assistance opportunity comes right. along for them. And so the kids are hungry, um, especially in the summertime when there is no school. And right. I, I think the community forgets that. So many children get their primary meal during the school year at their school. Right, and and, and you know, Donnie, uh, like with, with us, like you said, we're not a food bank, we're not a soup kitchen, 
But what we do is prepare these really, really healthy meals that go directly to the children. Right. Now, during the holidays, there are so many great things that go on. A lot of organizations doing a lot of good things. But what we focus on is not just the holidays, but the year-round oh, scenario. Oh, year round. Yeah. And the average person does not realize that uh, the summer is, is the time of the year that the kids are in more need than any other time of the year. Mm -hmm. Schools are closed. Right. Uh, the kids are out there doing whatever. Right. And, and, and that's why today we have like over 80 agencies that partner with us in the summertime. And we're getting ready to do our 11th summer and to get areas where these kids can gather, where they can get some educational components. Uh, this past summer, we started a summer camp. We had over 400 kids at this summer camp within a week. Wow. And we focused on healthiness, gardening, hands-on. We gave them information to take home. Uh, some of the parents got involved. The whole objective was to teach healthy eating. To these kids. And, <clears throat> and the, the, this issue is not, isolated to one particular ethnic group or one mm -mm. particular community, is it? No, no. Yeah, I think people would be surprised to hear that. No, I mean, uh, we cover Lucas County. Mm -hmm. And we are in almost every, we are in almost every section of Lucas County, we are feeding children. Mm -hmm. You know, some of our suburbs where maybe there's more funding, a little bit better income, people don't think that there's hunger there. Uh, think again. Uh, you can look at your different uh, mommy, Savannah, just, just continue to go out of the outskirts and, uh, and anybody can call us and get that information, but the hunger is there and it's, it's growing. It's everywhere. It and is it's growing. growing. <clears throat> and it it's growing. growing at a time when we're being told that the economy is getting better. Well, I'm not, uh, you know, we're not a, especially I'm, I'm not a really politically correct person as everybody knows and all my, our mission is to feed kids. And all we know is we're at the grassroots, we see it, it's growing, and that's not good. That's not good. And, you know, it's also <clears throat> important to know that, um, as Tony mentioned earlier about his partners in this effort, this really is a community concern, and there are mm -hmm. many, many organizations who have decided that this has to go away. Prometica has a strong influence in, um, in this conversation. The Mercies, Tony's group, the food banks. The problem is still not being eradicated because the problem is huge. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Matter of fact, uh, the, the biggest thing right now that we're concentrating on, Donnie, is, is cooking equipment. Now, it's sad to say, but we've had to say no to some additional meals for kids. And the reason why is we need additional cooking equipment. Let's, that's a great segue into um, how people can help. How can yes. they help? You know, um, First of all, uh, you know, we, we appreciate some of the canned goods and the things that people give us, but where your dollar is really, is not just gonna give back during the holidays, but it's gonna give back year round for the next how many years to come. But we could really use some help on purchasing. Uh, we've got some equipment that costs up to $43,000, all the way down to $300. And that is where we really need some help at. Right. Uh, it, it, to me, it's a sin to see that a lack of a piece of cooking equipment is keeping us from feeding additional children. Right. I mean, you know, in the past, you know, we've been up to like 7,200 meals a day. I'm sorry, how many meals a day? 7,200. 7,200 meals right. a day in this yeah. county. Yes. And when we know with some additional funding that we could jump that to better than 20,000 meals a day, there is enough need in this county oh. for 20,000 meals a day. Oh, if, when, if everybody would come in and help us put this equipment in, we will show them 20,000 meals a day are being served directly to the children. And these wow. are healthy, nutritional meals. Right. And that's really an important point <clears throat> in, in the few minutes that we have left. These are not sandwiches being served out of mm -mm. the back of a van. Mm -mm. Um, these are, these are healthy meals that these mm -hmm. kids need to thrive and, and, right. and to grow. Yeah, well, you know, a good example is I, when we went to school, we, you know, uh, we got that, that, that processed chicken patty. Yes. Okay. We serve the skinless chicken, whole muscle chicken breast. Wow. 
You can't do better than that. No, you can't. We've got partners like Gordon's Food Service, uh, oh my goodness, Peaks Produce, uh, Colostrum and Bread, Smith Dairy. They work with us. They really treat us well because, see, we purchase a hundred, almost 100% of our food. Um, and when the governor was in this summer and gave us that special award uh, mm -hmm. for our accomplishment, the thing that really stuck out with them was the fact that this is just not a hot dog and potato chip meal. These, these are, are real meals. We need these kind of meals in our schools, we Tony. Do. We do. And so. So time and <clears throat> talent and treasure. That's what you've always said to me. Yeah. Time and talent and treasure. This group can really use your time. It can use your talent. And as Tony is telling you um, right now, it absolutely can use your treasure, your, your money, to help them buy the equipment that's necessary to um, continue to feed these kids in this county. We can feed in this county 20,000 meals. We can provide 20,000 meals a day, a day, according to Tony, in this county if we just have a little more help with purchasing some of those right. supplies. We're going to tell you exactly how you can reach uh, Tony Sibidek in just a second. We're going to go away and we'll be right back. Please stay with us. <laughs>